Your peaceful demonstration is very much welcome in this country. But given the fact that you know that Uganda is a third world country, I mean, we have our values, and we dearly love to adhere to them. But there being a poor third world country, whose budget is more than 40%, funded by the guards who are commanding us to be very careful as we discuss this bill. How dare you say that we can just leave what they're saying and we go on with the promotion of our values? Well, uh, first of all, uh, I think that there is need to change paradigm. Well, right now, we are one of the emerging nations. So when you talk about Uganda, a country with oil, a country with significant uranium. Uh, the recent aeronautical survey revealed that Uganda is one of the most gifted countries with uranium, which Americans and Europeans need to build Rwanda nuclear reactors. Just, just so you think of two particular issues, uranium and uh, as well as uh, oil. Oh, so what value, what value, what value, what value well, is so when, when, when you begin to talk yes. about nations of power, you uh -huh. begin to talk about Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has its own unique value system, and America respects it because they have taken a stand of determination. China, let me finish with no, China. No, no, Pastor, you're, 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 I mean, you're talking about a few countries. Talk about Saudi Arabia, don't talk about China. You're talking about Saudi Arabia, one of the very few countries that are special in their own manner, where we have oil and uranium. And so no, does, and look at African countries. And look at that. African countries that actually have oil and uranium. Are they self-sustaining? Are they not funded by the same donors? Um, I was coming to the point. I know you were a bit pessimistic, but the, you have to understand that the new Uganda. And you have to have a realistic assessment of what God has given this country. This country, when you begin to mention nations of power, you need to begin to mention Abu Dhabi, you begin to mention Kuwait, you begin to mention Saudi Arabia, you begin to mention Uganda. Today, the Italian people are here to try and invest in our oil chain. You need to wake up to the new reality. And America is as, interested, as, as we wake up and America is interested yes, in, in Uganda's uranium. Yes, doctor. And I woke up to the monitor that the Secretary of, of Commerce uh, of America had written Bill and Clinton saying that uh, if the bill is discussed and goes through, that they should take us out of our power. You know we export it. Yes, but, but, but you know, you know, you know, doctor, that if we recklessly move on with this bill, the same investors that you're talking about may end up pulling out of Uganda. Yeah. And look at a country like uh, no, 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 it has governance issues, but come back to Uganda. You need to understand that people must be strong. If Americans and Europeans know that these people are strong, they cannot put Sodom and export as the priority of their foreign, foreign policy. Any country that puts Sodom on the top priority of its foreign policy is a failed state. Secondly, yes, I want to let you know that if any country wishes that the selling in Abu we sell cotton. Yes. The selling of our, if the selling, uh, uh, close, if the selling of our cotton to America means that we receive Sodom in exchange, then that is a better trade we cannot do. We would rather find someone with whom we can do business with. Do you know that America, every American right now, is indebted to China, to China, up to the tune of twenty thousand dollars? And if China Doctor, today, you are talking about no, China. No, no, listen, no, but listen. If China today yes, was to call of its money and say, America. Pay me my money. my money. America would close down today you're as right. a financial you're right. So but do, you're not, let, about do China. not let you're America intimidate you. You're talking about China. England. A country that has a market of over 1 billion people. But like you said, that we should look at our country as a new country. With well, us, well, before, well, with well, us before, before, before you get to Pokagawa, before, no. before you get to Pokagawa, yeah. I want to finish on the issue of China. You people need to understand, some of you worship America, you are rushing to America, you are rushing to England. These countries are economically bankrupt, they are heavily indebted, 
And uh, there is no way someone who is deaf, uh, he, he's a misguided person who Yo does not realize Yo that Yo Uganda Yo is a strategic partner Yo in the fight against terror. Yes. It's a strategic partner. There's a desire for military bases. Yes. Uganda is an oil state. Uganda is a country with significant uranium. No government can put its foreign policy that the number one priority is the export of Sodom again. Doctor, it's for that same reason that many people get to appreciate the United States of America. Who else would you appreciate than a poor man who forgets about his poverty and he comes out wholeheartedly to support you, to get you out of poverty? How many people in this country are on antiretroviral drugs these are life-saving drugs, and it's the U.S. through its paper program that is actually funding such programs. And you abused, and and you abused and George and Bush. George Bush that came out and gave the money. George Bush gave the money for, for, for fighting homosexuals so for the Arab people. George Bush, Obama has failed, but George Bush did well, and you people condemned him. Now, you are coming back and saying, oh, America is giving us, but if, the giving us of mosquito nets, ARVs, and malaria medicines involves us embracing sodomy and going the world Sodom and Gomorrah. Then we would rather die in dignity than live in dishonor because we have held these cherished cultures for thousands of years. Yes, America is about two, three hundred years. Yes, but it's not only America. Just Uganda. Uganda America. alone uh -huh. is close to five hundred years. Long before America was made, in Uganda we knew, a man marries a woman, you have the Ashanti Kingdom, you have Ghana, you have Timbuktu, you have Egypt, you all the way to Zululand, you, with Zimbabwe. We cannot deny the historical hand down to us we have received from our fathers. Just because some guy like Gordon Brown or whatever, is saying that we need, just because those are misguided failed states.